Hi, I've finished listening to a book on Audible and it's one listed in the, well, it's shortlisted for the Cafe Nero um, debut fiction prize. Um, I think this is going to be the only one that I'm going to get a chance to read um, because it comes out on the 16th. The winner of each section is announced on the 16th of January. And I don't think I'm going to get another one read. Well, I'm not. I'm not going to get another one read at all before then. Um, I've left it too late, haven't I? Anyway, this one, I'll tell you what I'm talking about in a minute. It's called Close to Home by Michael McGee. And as I said, it's a debut novel by this Irish writer. And you could... You could almost describe it as a coming of age. Um, almost. It's set in Belfast and it's during the recession. And our main character is Sean, um, a working class boy. Um, his mum is twice divorced. He's got two siblings and a father that he's got no contact with. Sean has worked his way through school. He got himself to university, went to Liverpool University and he's graduated with an English degree. And now he's come back to Belfast, to a place where there are no jobs and no prospects. And as one of his friends says somewhere in the book, you know, Sean's got this degree, but he's no better than they are. They're all stuck in nowhere. He has jobs in nightclubs, in bars, in coffee shops, and none of which he can hold on to. Um, he can barely afford any rent. And he regularly cheats the self-scanners in supermarkets to get free food. And he's sort of in a no man's land between his working class friends and the student crowd that he aspires to be with. Because, you know, he's he's an ex-student, he's got to, he's graduated, he he feels that he should be in that crowd rather than that crowd, but he's as his friend has said, he's nowhere. He's got a school friend, an old school friend Maraid, um, like him. She's graduated. But she is making plans to leave Belfast to do something else, which Sean isn't. One night, um, and this is where the, the book begins, he assaults a lad. Um, he's goading him. He's charged and found guilty. And the book follows his journey as he tries to come to terms with himself and as he tries to find the person that he wants to be, the place where he wants to be. I found myself when I was reading this, sorry, listening to this, flitting between liking him and disliking him because of some of the choices he's ma he makes. You know, for a lad with a degree who has got potential, he makes some very odd choices at times. And he's got some very toxic friends um, whose raison d'etre seems to be to get drunk and get high regularly, every day. And you want to drag Sean away from these people who seem to be on a path of self-destruction and they want to drag him down with them. You want to push him away you know, go and find some more friends. This is this is what you want to do. I can't say that it's an enjoyable read. I, I didn't come away with a nice warm glow. But it's a promising debut from a new Irish writer and I'll be interested to see what he does next. So, Close to Home by... Michael McGee. Um, it's as I said, it's the only one I've read on the debut 
um, Cafe Nero debut fiction uh, long list, short shortlist. So we'll see which one gets picked, whether it gets picked as a debut, as a section winner. So happy reading. Take care.